Hello everyone, Dr. Deborah Dupree here. I'm honored to share a pivotal moment from a mediation journey that holds crucial lessons for us all. Now I'd like to direct your attention to a testimonial um, generated by Ty Bernoni. In this video, Ty reflects uh, on a recent presentation delivered for dispute resolution professionals that transformed one of his mediations the very next day. Let's take a look. Hi everybody, Ty Bordoni here, professional full-time mediator, primary mediation trainer, and director of the Mediation Center of Central Florida. Um, I just had a eight hour mediation, a family mediation. And interestingly, these were parents who typically get along with each other and are able to communicate with each other yet took eight hours and they weren't high conflict. What is it that took eight hours? Emotions. That's what took eight hours. Emotions. And I would tell you what made the difference was my emotional intelligence, putting them in caucus and speaking to each of them and creating that safe place where what could be said needed to be said, could be said in a way that they didn't have to worry that they were able to express themselves and it gave me the chance to get them through the emotions i keep on finding recognizing understanding a little bit more, more as time goes by um you know doug knoll uh uh introduced me through his recordings <laughs> to uh, de-escalating you know emotions in 90 seconds is what he says uh, listening, validating, and then reframing, right? But then I listened to something by um, Dr. Deborah Dupree, and she was in essence kind of talking about the same thing, but she just said in such a different way that that's what helped me make the connection between what she talks about when emotions hijack agreement or mediation, right? Folks get emotional and what happens, they kind of shut down. They're, they're unable to make rational decisions. They become emotional and then the time then is spent getting them past the emotions, right? Getting them from the back of the brain to the front of the brain, to the rational part of the brain. And it's so many different things. It's your EQ, your emotional intelligence, right? It's um, how we talk with them. It's the, the tone of our voice, right? It's it's our face. Are we helping them um, to say yes? Are we reframing them appropriately? Doing what Doug Knoll says, but also recognizing when uh, you see the emotions starting to stop them, what do you do? How do you move them? And it's not just, well, I have to listen and I have to reframe. It's also recognizing it, right? And kind of stepping back and helping them then deal with it in a different way and helping them by mirroring how I am showing them, maybe talking about it at one point, like we had been going a while and I've, I've recognized, I think this party, they need a break, right? They hadn't eaten, they were getting emotional. Maybe they needed some fresh air. And so I switched the topic and I addressed, listen, we've been here for a bit, right? And I recognized what was going on. And it wasn't just about what was being said and how it was being said, but I needed to give them a little space. I needed to give them a little time, some fresh air. They needed to eat a little something, right? It's recognizing the other things that are going on because the emotional responses, they have, there's physical stuff going on too. And as you start getting good at recognizing it and then, you know, being able to let, tell yourself, okay, you know what? Let's do this. Let's, by me giving the party that needed it, well, everybody needed it in different ways, but it's recognizing some of the nuance. It's not just what's being said, it's how it's affecting them. It's how we help them deal with that physically, right? And there's, there's more. I'm just saying, you know, now what's important is Let's start recognizing how people's emotions 
stop them from coming to agreement and and stop the process right and when you recognize that you see them starting to get agitated what things can you do to bring them down right it's not just what you say to them and how you say that say it to them it's when you say it to them what when, when do you take a break right what things can you start to do and start to say to bring them down from those emotions right it's fascinating it's so fascinating so this is what i want you to do i want you to google um dr deborah dupree, dupree will work for food yesterday she gave this um this this cme um about an hour and and i and it was fascinating right and the ne very next day listening to her help me recognize some of the physical things that they're going through and i literally gave physical manifestation to the things that i was trying to do it worked it made a huge difference and now sometimes i would tell you we do it and we don't realize we're doing it but when you do it when you realize you're doing it it makes it more effective anyway please do yourself a favor watch the uh, dr deborah dupree will work for food and it was from yesterday november uh, 14th right you'll love it one and read this book de-escalate by doug knoll um these two individuals alone and there are others right great perspectives to help you see what it is that you do in a different way and to recognize the physical impact that emotion has on the brain and you can see it happening to them and that has direct correlation to how they're able to come to agreement with some simple techniques and giving them some distance and 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 the ability from physical taking a break letting this individual get something to eat and get some fresh air and everything and my my EQ my emotional intelligence and everything else that I had to say help them come back with that perspective help them think rationally and they were so appreciative and it was just amazing to me okay enough what we do matters we are superheroes you're a superhero right um but we can't just rely on what we know we have to consistently be learning as well right uh so go make a difference uh, for yourself as well as for those you you mediate with keep making a difference in your community one mediation at a time and in turn the world um good luck i'll talk to you soon all right stay well i got so excited when um ty sent this to me he actually did this right at the end of his day long eight hour day and he still did this and so ty's experience sheds light on a fundamental aspect of mediation the recognition of emotional hijacks and this term refers to those instances when emotions do overpower our rational thought often impeding productive communication therefore resolution in the will work for food presentation ty mentioned we delved into the importance um, of recognizing emotional hijacks the physical manifestations of those and how it can be a real game changer when as mediators we're attuned to what else could this mean i'd like to add that he referenced Doug Knoll who i'm very honored to have had as a guest speaker on my podcast decoding the conflict mindset check it out it's truly remarkable to see how this presentation resonated so profoundly with Ty's mediation process and made an immediate difference in how he showed up as a mediator Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Go forth and do great things.